What it do you do? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2 and specifically a topic that I've seen um, talked about a lot on Reddit that I kind of just wanted to, you know, put my thoughts out there on and give my reasoning for uh, my thoughts and such like that. But before we get into all that, guys, a uh, friendly reminder, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like down below. So let's click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. And with that being said, today, let's get into it. We are going to talk about if there should be a mass buff on some of the weaker weapons. And in theory, this would be a good idea. You know, um, walk through PvE content, melt people, things like that. Uh, melt people in PvP, melt people on, in PvE, you know, all that type of thing. And, you know, people want to be powerhouses. And I don't think The Division is like that. I don't think it's that type of game. The Division is a game where the uh, enemies you face have to be bullet sponges. They absolutely have to be bullet sponges. Based on the fact that the game gets really, really boring and repetitive when you can just melt people down inside of, you know, inside of your game. You know, when you can just melt everything, it's not a very fun experience. Now, red bars, yeah, are one thing, but purple and yellow bars, they, they're designed to take some time to kill, you know, for, for you and your team to work. You know, not only do some of the gear sets not work if you just melt through people um a good majority of them actually you know some of the ones where you have to put a status effect on things and things like that or uh things that you have to put a certain debuff on uh, and like a for example the true patriot gear set you know you can put the red blue or white buff on it at any point in time but the, depending on their tankiness you can get all of those debuffs on at the same time and all of those debuffs are doing a certain thing for your team you know whether it's giving them health back whether it's you know uh providing cooldowns you know things like that that are helpful that only this game can represent because it is set in a modern world it, or not necessarily a modern world but it's set in a more realistic world where you know you don't have powers and things like that you have you know gadgets and things like that that you know have quite a bit of time to be on cooldown but also i want to reiterate the fact that if you have a game like here go into a game with a new friend you know if you guys haven't met somebody in the community that needs help you know you guys can use my comment section or anything like that if somebody needs help then go into a game with them and then you know play with them for a little bit and notice how boring it gets when you just melt through the enemies you know this game it can get repetitive if you let it get repetitive so things like that happen and that's one of the bigger reasons now one thing that i will say is that the thing that makes this game frustrating is not necessarily that the fact there is bullet sponges but the fact that those bullet sponges actually i'm sorry i'm tongue-tied today for some reason the fact that those bullet sponges actually seem to like know that they're bullet sponges a lot of time you know uh these higher level enemies uh which have bonus increased damage they will know that they're bullet sponges they don't flinch they don't have any of those effects unless you put down like a flamethrower or you throw a flashbang or things that you know affect how they move and things like that but for the most part they will just run directly up to you and in most situations especially with shotgunners and the smgers and even some of the melee classes like all of those those classes will just run up to you no matter how much armor they have on you and you really can't do anything to stop it except for roll out of the way now a lot of people are going to troll and be like oh hey you know maybe if you were good this wouldn't happen but i do think that it might be a, a real flaw inside of the, uh, the game that you know some of the ai kind of know that they're spongy and they kind of just are aggressive and I, I wonder if that's something they can change or if that's something that they won't be able to change in the future but yeah a lot of the times in this games or in games like this that's focused on a more of a, a realistic type of shooter, which actually I can't really think of ones that are like this because all the other looter shooters you kind of do have abilities for the most part. Um, but this one, all your abilities are, like I said, gadgets. And those gadgets will rarely be used. You'll see less and less effective uh, items used, unless they were like heal items and things like that. But the tankiness of this game allow you to kind of explore with the different things that the, that you can use and things like that. And it really would, I feel, destroy the core of the game if you buffed a lot of the weaker weapons. Some weapons are designed to be weak, but have like good benefits. And plus, just because you are not running through enemies, 
does not necessarily mean that the weapons need to be stronger or things like that. It does mean that maybe your build isn't the way it should be in order to take on that item. It's not good enough to just have, you know, 500 gear score everything. Sometimes you have to mess and tweak with your build so you get the most out of it. Whether it be a hybrid build where you could take some damage and you could deal a good amount of damage. Whether it's a DPS build where you completely can't take any damage but you put out a lot of damage. So in turn, you know, the best defense is a good offense, you know. Uh, so all of these different types of things have the ability to not only help your team but make an enjoyable experience for you late game. So I urge a lot of the people that do feel this way or if you feel this way to make sure that you guys are checking your build and you know applying the different things that you guys need in order to have a little bit more fun maybe be able to get through those missions a little bit easier and things like that. And uh, yeah, so just a simple build tweak is probably what what you need the most. Now, this is not me saying that some guns don't need to be a little bit buffed and some guns don't need to be nerfed. At the current moment, I haven't dabbled in PvP since the update came out. So I want to do that sometime soon and see what the new meta is for weapons. So if anybody knows the new meta, you guys can also hit me up in the, in the comment section down below. But, you know, guys, like I said, I personally think that uh, the game is currently... At a good spot when it comes to weapon damage and weapon balance um, at least as far as my knowledge goes but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my division 2 videos thank you guys for the view and I will see you guys in the next one peace